Do you think there's some correlation in terms of romance, in terms of the word you sometimes use, magic? Is there some similarities in what humans want and what roses want and what nature wants? I think so. I think there is, and if I did not think so, oh my goodness, this is, would not be a nice world to live in. I think we all want love. <laughs> I recently read this beautiful letter that was written by Einstein to his daughter mm -hmm. um, and was discovered. Einstein asked his daughter to wait 20 years until she reveals these letters, and so she did. It's just one of the most beautiful letters I've ever read from a father to his daughter. And the letter overall is imbued with a kind of a, a sense of remorse or maybe even feelings of sadness. And there is some kind of melancholy note in the letter uh, where Einstein regrets not having spent enough time with his daughter, uh, having focused on you know the theory of general relativity and changing the world. And then he goes on to talk about this beautiful and elegant equation of E equals MC square. And he tells his daughter that he believes that love is actually the force that shapes the universe because it is like gravity, right? It attracts people. It is like light. It brings people together and connect, connects between people. Um, and it's all empowering. And, and so if you multiply it by the, the speed of light, you could really uh, change the world for the better. And I, I call me a romanticist. I know you are too. Mm -hmm. um, which is why I so love being here. I I believe in this. I I totally and utterly um, believe in in in, in love. This. By the way, let me just excerpt from Einstein's letter. There's an extremely powerful force that, so far, science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others, and is even behind any phenomena operating in the universe, and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. He also, the last paragraph in the letter, as you've mentioned, I deeply regret not having been able to express what is in my heart, which has quietly beaten for you all my life. Maybe it's too late to apologize, but as time is relative, <laughs> that jokes to Einstein, I need to tell you that I love you. And uh, thanks to you, I have reached the ultimate answer. Your father, Albert Einstein. Yeah. But that regret, I deeply regret not having been able to express what is in my heart. Maybe that's a universal regret. Filling your days with busyness yeah. and silly pursuits and not sitting down and uh, expressing that. But it is everything. It is everything. It is why I love that expression. And I forget who said this, but... I love my daughter more than um, evolution required, right? And um, I feel the same way towards my other half. And, and I feel that when you find that connection, um, everything and anything is possible. Um, and it's a, a very, very, very magical, um, a magical moment. So I, I, I believe in love and I believe in the one. <laughs>